and welcome to your gold market update and charts of interest for today friday the 16th of december hope you've had a good weekend i'm sure you're looking forward to the weekend and the preparations towards christmas despite what's happening in the markets well let's have a look at what's come across the news of course overnight we saw the u.s market sell off on continuing recessionary fears we had some very poor retail sales numbers which really the fed should be quite delighted about in terms of that should be the impact of rising interest rates month after month in essence the dow posted its worst day for three months and all major indices are now pretty close uh, to testing key levels u.s futures are near neutral in asian trading and asx is down 0.6 percent despite being off the lows of the session and the rest of the asian indices are also following that negative u.s lead interestingly materials and stocks are outperformed they are mildly positive at this stage in australia on the back potentially of some relaxation in the china covid lockdown situation european equity futures are pointing to a weaker open not surprised the us dollar index bounce but is still within a downwards trend channel it's been in for the last couple of months it's slightly lower again in asia against most currencies perhaps a little bit of short covering going on and maybe a little bit of oversold against uh, other currencies perhaps commodities on the back of that usd strength all pulled back overnight but there's little follow through today all looks pretty neutral we have got a slight move up in copper and gold in the asian session and again we'll have a look at key levels throughout the day the vix did move higher but is fairly near neutral for the week so there hasn't been a dreadful market panic going on and uh, that's interesting that's interesting in light of what might happen next week Bitcoin was looking quite perky earlier in the week, but gave it all back yesterday. And it's so high, it has essentially reversed from potential resistance level and looking precarious again back in the 1700s. Today is a really quite an important day on data because we've got global PMI numbers, both services and manufacturing across the board. We've already seen numbers come out of Australia, which missed expectations. Uh, Japanese numbers slightly beat expected. As well as that, and the numbers coming out of the UK, the Eurozone and the US later. We've got the Eurozone CPI and UK retail sales also due. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. We're quite interested in the GB pound US and I've deliberately put it on a shorter time frame. So you can see the price action from last night, which took it through a couple of levels of support. And now we've got a bounce going on in Asia. Uh, just pulling back slightly for right now, but 122 looks important. Perhaps check in on it later in the day uh, if we do breach this level at 122.10 there could be a 40 pip up move on this and really if we want context you can see really all we've done here is just pull back a little to a key level we're still in an upwards trend channel on the gb pound usd and we're still above the 200 ma so that's important on the asx we referenced call stocks yesterday and they are outperforming again today you can see there it was our chart of the day yesterday it's pushed higher today despite a weaker open uh, and we're now at 6.23. We are eyeing this level here at around about 6.50 as the next key level. So still buying pressure evident in this. You can see that increasing volume over the last couple of days uh, that has pushed it over this resistance at $6. And if we get anywhere near 6.50 potentially and beyond, we could be up near mid 700s again in the not too distant future certainly coal stocks appear to be worth some consideration today trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now